Recently, in the United States, the White House to forgive around $10,000 worth of student debt from morons who went to the university without being able to pay for it. I don't really know why particularly student loan is the one being targeted. Like, for example, if you were dumb enough to make a mortgage for your house and you're not being able to pay for it, well... That's tough. Uh, if you were dumb enough to start a business and it went bankrupt because the government shut it down during the pandemic, well, that's tough. Uh, but maybe I shouldn't call these people morons. Maybe they were very smart in taking a service that they're not able to pay for. Not to mention the fact that the actual morons are the people who did pay for it in this situation. Like, all you had to do was to wait a little bit, and perhaps the politicians are going to erase your debt. I always said that the best solution for this problem would be to take away those people's diploma who benefit from the debt forgiveness. Uh, kind of like a vacuum cleaner that you buy and you want to return it. You don't get to own the vacuum cleaner, but you do get your money back for it. So it could be the same here, you know, you go to a university and uh, you can't pay the debt. Okay, fine, you know, the government pays it for you. And by the government, the taxpayer we're talking about, like, yes, the poor people are going to have to support the education of the bourgeois yet again. But maybe the bourgeois in this situation can give away their diploma. How about that? It should be similar to perjury if you claim that you have a diploma after the government reimbursed you. But anyway, the, the reason that I'm really upset about all of this is that in Romania we have a free education. You know, like free in the mind of crazy people because in reality I pay for it through the taxpayer money. My parents pay for it. Everyone pays for it, right? So public education, great thing, great thing. But when I'm looking at what's happening in the West, it frightens me. I mean, they keep talking about how we need to take more from the people. We need to tax the people more, even more. Let's create more taxes, environmental tax, uh, water tax, air tax, uh, a fart tax. Everything needs to be taxed, okay? More money. The government needs more. And the question is, like, how the fuck are you spending it then? Where does it go to? Well, apparently, 50,000 pounds in uh, Scotland has went uh, to condemn racismus. Yes, like that, that's, that's pretty much right. That blows your mind, right? Like, it completely blows your mind when you're looking at this. Uh, not to mention when you're looking at uh, the British Empire. It was pivotal. It was monumental in ending slavery worldwide. Because Britain has gone through the Industrial Revolution. And those scientific advancements, which came from La Universite, uh, didn't require slaves anymore. So Britain had the, the ships, the capability, the military to force other nations to stop trading slaves. And if a nation didn't want to stop trading slaves, they would get boycotted by Britain. In fact, if the American Civil War w would have never happened in an alternative timeline, I am willing to bet that with a lot more time passing, the U.S. would have dropped slavery as well, simply because the British found it very unsavory. Now, why is that not being mentioned? Why is that being erased from history? Because I keep seeing, like, all these universities says, oh, like, we want to teach the real history. Fine, fucking teach the real history. Teach this shit, which I don't understand why it costs 15,000 pounds to teach it. Like, why, why does it cost so much? How this is money laundering, isn't it? Like, this is what it is. You had a person that was corrupt and you were associating with them at the high levels of the university, and you said, all right, well, let's launder some money. Let's let's get some taxpayer money into this person's pocket, and we can justify it by doing a slavery audit, which shouldn't cost this much. There is no fucking way. The free market would not justify this if it wasn't for the taxpayer money. Like, you as a person would have never paid this much for this type of service. But anyway, okay, fine. So they found out that there's a connection to slavery, yada, yada, yada. Everyone is shocked, appalled. Yes, this is why it's mainstream news everywhere around the world, right? Money well spent. But then you find the same thing happening at Harvard. Now, at Harvard, we actually don't know how much money was being spent. But I assume it would have been within a similar range. Not to mention that all these institutions 
They spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on diversity officers and an entire army of apparat chicks that tell the students how to think. I guess if they told me how many genders specifically there were, I can't think of anything that would change my opinion, I guess. But if you got some friends, you Oh, you're giving me the finger? Hi. I'm standing in front of the social work building. I'm harming individuals by asking that question. Well, you want to come down and have a conversation about it? Why do you want to come down and have a conversation? Oh. <laughs> okay, so what would it take for you? Yeah, I mean, how do you think it gets to that level? How do you think it gets to that level without the apparatchik, without the diversity commissars, without the thought police that the university is hiring? So you, you take a normal human being and you send it to a university in order to turn him into a bigot. Congratulations. And these universities, they pride themselves on being founded on racismus. I mean, Princeton University, if I'm not mistaken, got into trouble with the government because they said that, oh, we, we, we are racist. We are a racist university. And then the government went like, oh, hold on a little bit. There are laws against that. I don't know what happened because it went completely hush-hush. But it was very interesting, right? So the dean, which was for decades at the university, came out and said, yes, our university is racist. Everyone was Pikachu face. It's like, well, why aren't you resigning then? What the fuck are you doing? But anyway, right, so Harvard found out that it's having ties to slavery. Like, almost as if any single institution in the U.S. that's old enough is going to have ties with slavery. I mean, do we not know the history of the U.S.? But what I find interesting, right, is that they say, okay, so there were slave owners that uh, were serving the staff, and now they, they're planning $100 million for reparations. Why is the money taken from the taxpayer and not taken from the families of the people that did the slavery? Like, if you want justice, that's how justice is done. You actually know these people in this situation. Like, okay, you know who the presidents of Harvard were during the slavery period. Go down their family tree, because it's public record, trace their ancestors, and take the money from them. And use that money to pay reparations, not for everyone, but for the actual slaves that worked at Hob during the slavery period, right? Like, find their family trees. That is justice. Like, that would actually be equitable. I don't understand why it's equitable when the government takes your money. And, it, and by the way, like, it can take money from black people as well. And, and then it gives them to, like, the, the reparation of Hob. In other words, it gives them to the rich bourgeois apparatchiks, the diversity officers, and, and all the other creme de la creme, without which the university apparently can't function properly. And, and I generally like, don't understand the mentality. So, like, what? Because the building itself had slaves in it? That's the problem? Or is the, the problem, like, genetical? Because if the problem is genetical, then find out the president's from Harvard, as I mentioned before. But, What's even more interesting, and I, I really love this. Apparently, Harvard used to publish bogus science. Look here. Faculty members spread bogus science, which was used to justify segregation. Oh, you mean like we have now? You mean like we have now? But I guess it's now it's proper science, okay? Like the false science has been debunked. I'm glad for that. But now you have a more progressive science, which also justifies segregation. So at the end of the way, like your, your problem with this is that while the conclusion is correct, the way arriving to the conclusion was wrong. It's kind of like uh, when the math teacher gives you uh, an exam and even though you got the right number, he's like, yeah, but like you didn't use the correct method to reach that number. And we're talking about, you know, spreading bogus science. Well, I, I'll tell you this. I'm pretty sure nowadays they're not even spreading any science at all because they still haven't figured out how to define a woman. I am willing to bet they do not know the definition of a woman, just like that Supreme Court judge doesn't know it. They probably don't know it either, so they're not spreading any science because they're baffled. Let me know what you guys think, though. And uh, hopefully you haven't paid your student debt, I guess. Because if you did, you're a moron.